I've never done this before. Um, I have visions. I started having visions about two years ago, and uh, I've put off um, doing anything with them for the past year, even though God told me to paint them. Um, I have started painting them, and um, I have a stack of them below me. I'm going to show you uh, each vision. Visions tend to overlap into visions. Sometimes uh, I have a short-term memory issue. So to know it was from God, I asked God to show it to me different ways. Show it to me three different ways. So I know it was from Him and cement it into my mind. If it wasn't from Him, then I couldn't remember it. And these are cemented in my mind. So I'm going to go ahead and, and start with uh, one. And, uh, and then I'm gonna go back to a couple dreams. Each one is gonna be a short clip so that you can watch it. Um, it won't be long. Watch the video, the vision, and then it'll go to the next one. This one is gonna be the first one. This is of um, what I saw uh, during this vision. I'm just gonna go ahead and, and uh, read, just to kind of tell you. Um, I basically was um, on this particular one. I was standing um, looking at the sky and before that I had uh, what had happened was I to have the vision I was going upstairs to have some some coffee and uh, it was morning and by the time I got up to the top of the stairs I was very tired and I felt kind of like I gotta lay down for a minute so that I sat down on the couch and I put my head back and I shut my eyes the minute I shut my eyes it felt like I was watching a movie and what I saw was this golden river what I thought was a golden river and I saw all these like sparks coming up or water splashing down and I looked at it and I was looking up because my head was back and I was like what is the river doing in the sky and I kept looking at it closer and closer and as I looked at it and, and got closer I realized it it wasn't a river they were people and they were flying up into this and creating this river and the people were kind of like candlelight and this is as close as I could get to the candlelight look of it. And they were kind of like candlelight and they just shimmered and they, they flew up into this river. And so I flew up into the river too. I go, I wanna see what's up in the river. So I kind of like jumped up there somehow and went up into the river. And I said, what are you doing? And they said, we're flying home. Jesus says it's fun. And I go, this is the rapture. And they said, it's the rapture. And I was like, oh my gosh, this is the rapture. And I said, if this is the rapture, what is earth like? Oh my gosh, what has happened to earth? And I stopped for a second and I went back to earth to see what had happened. And that is where my next vision will start. Before I start that vision, God gave me a poem about this. He also told me it's the 11th hour. Time's coming to an end. Does this, sorry for interrupting, but does this have anything to do with Easter and the time that we're in now? Uh, I don't know. I just see the visions and I was told to be done by the 11th. Of I April. I, to the 11th today tomorrow I was told to be done by the 11th I kept seeing 11 on everything um, the clock every time I looked at it and 11 11 11 for the last year and my husband and I couldn't figure out what the 11 was about why, why would we keep seeing 11 on, with the with the time on the clock it was 11 11 or 2 11 or 5 11 and we were like what is with the 11 well God kept saying go ahead paint these visions when are you going to do your visions when are you going to do them and I didn't do them I was like I'm not good enough to do them you know I um didn't do them so let me read this and then we'll go, we'll go on to the visions of earth when the final trumpet blows the 11th hour is done the heavens will open up and our savior he will come he will gather up his flock from the four corners of the world 
it will happen in an instant, a day like all the rest. When God says to his son, he wants to go collect his children today. The Savior wants his bride. He rides out like the wind, stretching out his banner. It glows like golden candles in the wind. A legion of angels accompany him, apostles on his right and left. Jesus sweeps his staff over the earth and gathers up his elect and takes his bride safely home. In an instant, our bodies are changed into a glowing candlelight. We take flight up into the beautiful river of light. Time is running out. The 11th hour is here. Are you going to take the flight or are you going to fight it out on earth with no light anymore? Because it's going to be up here. Next video.